The wait is finally over. Today I'm going to take this huge rocket motor case, fill it with sugar fuel as much as I can fit in it, and put it on the test stand. I've been waiting for this day for a while, and it's finally here. I've had this motor case for about a year now, and it's an expensive piece of hardware that I did not want to damage or lose uh, due to a Kato. So I contacted a few people on the Rocketry Forum. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, there's a lot of knowledge there, a lot of really helpful people. And I asked them if they had ever tested sugar fuel in this long of a case. And uh, a couple of people did respond. So one of them gave me a burn sim file. If you're not familiar with burn sim, it is software that is used to simulate the burn profile of the rocket motor. And you use this to make sure you don't overpressurize the motor and that you uh, reach the goals that you have for it. So designing a motor that's this long is rather difficult. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that it was gonna be successful before I pushed that launch button. So yes, uh, that was very helpful. I ran the sim and uh, we'll see at the end how close it was and talk about the uh, burn at the end of the video. Okay, so let's talk about the motor for just a minute. It is 28 and a half inches long and uh, it has 3.3 pounds of fuel in it. That's a lot of fuel and everything has to go right for this to work. So fingers crossed, let's head outside and see what happens. Yeah, I was really happy with that burn, but I have to admit, I'm a little nervous every time I push that button because if everything doesn't go right, you could end up with something like this. See how that motor case is split there? Yeah, that's not fun. Okay, so it didn't do that. Yay, great. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, the burn profile. I'll put that up on the screen for you. I had the motor on a scale so that you can see what the performance was. Let's take a look at that. Okay, looking at the graph, we can see that the motor burned for 2.7 seconds and produced 190 pounds of thrust. Yeah, I was pretty satisfied with that. And uh, the burn looked really good, everything was nominal. So let's talk about the graph for just a minute. Uh, as you can see, it is a K600 and uh, the burn sim file, the sim file told me that it would be somewhere around a K800 or so. Now, uh, let's do a little demonstration here so I can show you uh, something to help us understand that. Okay, so the burn sim file is for two seconds roughly and the motor burn for around 2.7 seconds. So there's a 0.7 seconds or so, uh, a little bit longer burn than, than was simulated, but that's okay. Uh, the amount of Newton seconds that the motor produced uh, is about right. So I'm, I'm good with that. Whether it's a K600 or a K800, that's fine with me. That's, that's plenty of power to push a very heavy rocket. So let's take a look at a, a very simple demonstration here. Let's say that this uh, flat stick here is our burn curve. And uh, let's say that this is a 2.7 second burn. This is a K600. Let's say this is a uh, two second burn for around the K750, K800 or something like that. So as you can see, the amount of time that the motor burns affects the thrust profile. But both of them have approximately the same amount of Newton seconds or the same amount of energy. So there's just a difference in, in the amount of burn time. Now, if I want to get a little closer to that K800 or so that was uh, simulated in, uh, in the profile, what I can do is, uh, well, there's a couple things I can do. I can shorten the burn time I, by changing the fuel, the nozzle, or uh, the amount of um, Bates grains I have in it. Uh, there's several options I can do, or I can just leave it the way it is because it was successful. And then I have a good margin of error in case one of the grains cracks or has a void or something like that in it. So in the next video, yes, I'm going to test it again. I am going to uh, shorten that burn time a bit and we'll see if we can get a little bit closer to the profile that was produced by the software. Anyways, consider the whole thing success. Very happy with it. So um, that, that's all for today. Uh, please support the channel. Buy me a coffee if you like. That would be helpful. Keep this stuff rolling so I can buy materials and keep doing tests like this or use that YouTube like button. But also if you 
uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, give me a like or a comment or something like that. That does really help too. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.